Hi everyone, welcome back to Onco Daily. My name is Emma Terazarian, and today it's a great pleasure to meet Dr. Lara Cavalli. Hi, Dr. Cavalli, it's very nice to meet you. Hi, Emma, nice to meet you too. So, before we start, I would like to tell you briefly about Dr. Cavalli. So, uh, Dr. Lara Cavalli is head of medical affairs uh, at Pierre Faber Pharmaceuticals. Dr. Cavalli, uh, I would like to know uh, can you share your journey? into the field of oncology? Of course, Emma. So I am a pharmacist by training, and I did my residency in Imonk, working in a myeloproliferative neoplasm clinic. This is very important because it significantly impacted my career as I found out what really was the impact of pharma on people's life through the virtuous story of imatinib and chronic myeloid leukemia. When I discovered that it was possible to basically cure a form of leukemia through a pill, I decided that I wanted to pivot and move to industry to put all of my energy to help find cures for many more fatal diseases. Could you please uh, tell us, Dr. Cavalli, uh, what led you to focus on oncology research at Pierre Faber Pharmaceuticals? Of course. So after spending about uh, 10 uh, great years at Bristol Myasquib, I decided to join Pierre Fabre Pharmaceuticals in 2024. I was drawn by Pierre Fabre's ambition of building a new U.S. subsidiary while preparing for an important launch for a cell therapy um, medicine in lymphoma space. Another reason why I joined the company was actually my manager, Adriana Herrera. She is the CEO, and she is known to be a strong and compassionate female leader. And I knew that she would be someone who I could learn from every day and also would provide consistent support for me. Dr. Cavalli, could you please tell us uh, what is important to you as a female leader and how do you help other women to grow in their career? Thank you, Emma, for this question. I'm very passionate about this topic. Um, I was very lucky throughout my career to have support and encouragement from my family, in particular my husband, and my co-workers and managers. So I never had to choose between work and family, and I continued to grow professionally while growing my own family. And as a mother of three wonderful daughters aged from one and a half to six, I could not have done it without the physical and moral support. This is why the theme of women leaders is something that I'm not only passionate about, but is also an important part of my responsibility as a leader in the community of women. Pharma is working to increase opportunities for women over the past 15 years, and I have seen tremendous progress being made, but there's much more to do. I recently joined the HBA chapter in Miami as a member of their board. HBA is the Healthcare Business Women Association and is a fantastic group of women who are overachievers and do not want to give up their career nor their family. So whenever we get together, we look at each other and realize that with the proper support, yes, we can have it all. Just to wrap this up, what's important to me, I truly believe that women have superpowers and that the combination of empathy and kindness with determination, which I call sparkle and greed, is something unique and the perfect combination to lead to success. Thank you. It was very inspiring to hear your story, Dr. Cavalli. Um, Is there anything else that you would like to tell our audience? Thank you. Thank you, Emma, for having me. And and yes, as we get ready to potentially bring a very important and impactful life-saving therapy to the market with Prefabre Pharmaceuticals in the next few months, I continue to support my mission to impact people's lives, but also help uh, and support female leaders in my career. Thank you. It was a pleasure for me to talk to you today, Dr. Cavalli. Thank you. Thank you, likewise. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Anka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.